Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over how to claim a Seaflow products warranty. So um, we're going to first type in Seaflow warranty. And then there's a couple different ways that you can get to the actual warranty. Let's, let's actually go um, before we do that and go to seaflowdirect.com, which is our website that you can purchase off of. Um, we have all of our different items here. You can get 10% off your purchase by signing up for our email. Um, and we have everything available here. So let's say you want, you're on this website and you want to file a warranty claim for an item that you have that you believe is defective. You're going to go to warranty right here on the right hand side. Um, we have our YouTube channel for troubleshooting videos that you're seeing this on, our step-by-step -step guide for the warranty process and whatnot. And then here down in this area is the actual warranty sign up. So this is going to bring you back to our website. And then the registration form is up here as we go over in another video. We have the different steps to file a warranty um, and then the warranty terms. So please read through this before you submit a warranty claim um, and read the directions. So first you're going to review the warranty terms. Um, contact the online seller, retailer, distributor, or boat or RV manufacturer. Um, we ask that you do this because uh, where the product was purchased, many of the retailers and distributors will take the faulty product and process the claim with us on behalf of you. So we'll just make it a little, little bit easier on you. Um, and then if they, of course, told you to contact, contact us directly, um, you can go ahead and do this, no problem. Um, so after you've met these standards, you can fill out the warranty claim form. And after you fill out the form on the next page that we're going to go through, please send in your item to the address um, that's going to be given on the page. Uh, we are we won't pay for shipping that is sent to us, but if we receive the item and inspect it, um, we'll repair it or return it to you a, a new one um, if we find that it is defective, and we will pay for the shipping back to you of that product completely free of charge. Um, okay, so once you read through the terms, you can either click here or you can click here for the warranty claim form. It's going to be the same thing no matter what. So here is the form itself. Um, you have to fill out all fields. Again, it just helps us be able to know if there's a problem with a certain product, which isn't common, but in the case that it does, we want to make sure that um, we're keeping our products up to date and um, fixing anything that could go wrong so that our customers don't have this problem in the future. Um, so for here, for eBay and Amazon warranties, it's just if you bought your product on eBay or Amazon, you have to fill in who the online seller was. So that's not going to be Amazon and it's not going to be Seaflow. It's not going to be the name of that. So yes, it's a Seaflow product. Yes, you bought it on Amazon, but who was the online seller of the marketplace? And that's going to pertain to this place right here. So let's say you bought it on Amazon. You're going to go to your Amazon order that you bought the product and look on the right hand sign side typically it's on it's going to say sold by and under that it's going to say the name of the seller so sometimes it could be um, GK wholesale sometimes it could be Seaflow direct and it could be a couple different names so that's where you're going to type that in um, it's not Amazon that you're typing in here, and it's not Seaflow. It could be Seaflow Direct, but we need to be able to verify that it matches the order number um, to be able to verify that it was a purchase. So again, that just helps us be able to um, process your warranty quicker. Without that information, it's gonna start a back and forth. Um, so please fill that out the best you can. So let's go here, fill out your email address your name, your address, oops, country, this is just required, and then date of purchase, phone number, where it was purchased, so again, if it was Amazon or eBay, you're gonna have to do the online um, 
seller, online seller on the marketplace. If there isn't an online seller, like let's say you got it from C Flow Wholesale, just put NA. Um, we'll understand what it means. So again, Amazon equals, let's say it was C Flow Direct as the seller. Just please put that. What was the application for this pump? So if you were using it um, as a bilge pump for your boat, model number is going to start with SF. So for the 33 series, it would be SFDP1-030-045. That's just an example. Usually most of the products start with SF, but just put the number that looks like this, put that here. And then the serial number that's on the pump is going to be the gray number that may start with D, it may not, um, but it's printed on the pump, usually in gray, um, and usually not on the label, printed on the pump itself. So in your order number, if it was ordered online especially, you're going to put that here, you know, your Amazon order number, eBay order number, wherever you bought it. Even if it was at a retail store, Home Depot, wherever, you could put that here. And then description of defect with the item. So here, just try to be as detailed as possible. That way, if the um, item, let's say it's not defective and you just perhaps have a pump that uh, you need a different type of pump and a different application works better, we're able to get in contact with you so that um, you don't have to have this problem happen again. Maybe it's just a matter of troubleshooting that. So you put the defect here and then click submit. So here is going to be um, the reminder about the guidelines and then um, the process, uh, process to be able to send it back to us for inspection. So the steps to follow in to send back your item is one, package the pump securely to prevent any damage during transit. Two, include a note of your with your contact information and a brief description of the issue. And three, ship it to the following address. So here's where you're going to put just attention warranty and the name of seller. So again, if this is bought off of Amazon and your seller is Seaflow Direct, just simply write Seaflow Direct here. If it was bought um, off of Seaflow Direct's website, you could put Seaflow Direct here. Uh, anything that your seller is. If you bought it from Home Depot, you could put that here. And then the address itself right underneath it, uh, 3602 West Sample Street, South Bend, Indiana, 46619. So once you send it back, um, please send a confirmation that you did send it. Just write up an email. Hi, I sent my pump in for a warranty claim. Um, I filled out the thing and then this is the tracking number. Put the tracking number please in the email so that we can um, track when it gets to our warehouse and put it in for inspection as soon as possible to get this going for you as quickly as possible. And then you're going to send that email with the tracking number to warranty at cflowusa.com. So once we receive the item, we will inspect it promptly and provide you with an update on our findings and next steps. Um, and then of course here at the bottom, there's some troubleshooting for your own convenience. So those are the steps to fill out and submit your Seaflow warranty claim. If you have any questions, um, feel free to contact us at warranty at cflowusa.com. Thanks.